It's the Redskins Club Championship final. And Teckers will kick it off. Goes will get it first. He'll be in the white uniforms. Teckers in the home red. And there's a big time hit stick from Amos. And Teckers will start at the 30 yard line. Audibles, depth charts all set. We don't got to wait on that, so here we go. Buckle up, folks. It's going to be a good one. And if your Techers here, you want to put any kind of points on the board for this first possession. Goes is a player that you do not want to have to play from behind against. He has a very high-powered offense, and you want to try to stay ahead of that by doing things exactly like that and sacking the quarterback. Remember, we saw the game plan from Techers in that first drive when he played defense in the semifinal number two. He kind of played a bend, don't break there. And it leads to an eight-yard loss on the sack by Kurtz as no one was open downfield. That's a coverage sack. Second and 18 from the 22. Kurtz has been the best player for him all tournament. That's without a doubt. Boy, that's too many yards. That's too easy right there out to the 37. Big gain of 15 there. We're going to have a third and three. And just a couple of crossers followed up by a slightly slower in route there. Pulls those zones away and just frees up the space underneath. Yeah, I think you're going to see a spy the rest of the game there in the middle of the field. And that's a high pass for the first down to Julio. That'll move the chains. We saw a couple of those high pass curls in the semifinal game for Goes. Those both went into the end zone. This time he brings it out in the middle of the field. Ball to 43 yard line. Now, goes to someone that likes to flip that formation around, make you get set in one defense, maybe give you a quick flip after that and just a quick hike the ball just to keep you off balance. Take a look at it again on this first and ten. It's a rocket. Surprising to see him hold on to it. Great hit stick there. Amos misses the first one. Sean T comes in and cleans it up and hits the second one, though. Here we go, first and 10 from the 42. Opening drive of the ball game. We already have nearly two minutes gone by. Steve Young getting out of the pocket. Rolling to the strong side. He'll throw it all the way across the field. And he'll overthrow Amari Cooper, who was wide open on the sideline. Ghost tries to click on the user catch that. The ball goes a little bit further upfield than what he had thought there. He cuts the route off just a tad bit early, and it becomes an overthrow. Yeah, that's tough. He was, it was totally off the screen, so he had no idea really where Cooper was in relation to where that ball was going to land. And it'll be a second and 10. You see again, goes there, flips that as close as he can to the end of that play clock. So Techers doesn't have time to reset his defense. And we're looking for the view of Techers, and there goes Steve Young. If you don't have a spy out there, goes is going to make you pay. Yeah, he's had him on probably about half the plays here. First couple plays he didn't. That was the first time since then that he didn't have him on the field. Goes with great recognition. Ball to 28. Throws it and knocked away last minute. That was Ed Reed back there all over Jerry Rice. Played great in the secondary there. Goes has got the deep route specialist on that Amari Cooper. His young, no abilities, no gunslinger, no conductor. He's making just a single hot route on all these animations. Oh, and boy. Maybe a few extra fake hikes in there. That's going to back him up five yards. And what Goes is doing, it seems like on most of these, these are, kind of, these are faux hot routes here. A lot of times he is just making the animation happen so he can flip the play on Techers or if he can run the ball on Techers. He's just trying to keep him guessing. Uses a timeout here. Didn't like what he had going on here on second and 15. On the edge of field goal range, a 50-yarder from there. Goes as another one of those players with the minimum cap, 10 cap Bailey with only a 79 kick power. Third and six at the 24 now. Bunch to the right. Jones solo to the left. Spins and throws, and there is Amari Cooper, first down in the red zone at the 15. Tecker's done a pretty good job so far of keeping Hayden Hurst in line. You see he mans him up there, so that way he can't abuse him in the flats. He saw that quite a bit of that in that first semifinal from Goes. I like the adjustment so far from Tecker's. Steve Young, wheel route, hello, and there's a truck stick. 
Get off me. It's a touchdown for it goes. Did anybody get the license plate of the truck that just ran that man over? He may need to call his Geico spokesperson for that one. Just an absolute truck by Fournette. First to see the seams and just get wide open there. Ugh. You are not going to tackle that man one-on-one. -on -one. So a promising opening drive ends up in points for goes. And now it's Tecker's time. But remember, Tecker's, I, I go back to it. He played pretty conservative in that opening drive defensively in semifinal number two. I think as the game goes on, he starts to, he starts to send a bit more pressure. It seems as if as time goes on, his feet get underneath him a little bit more. He gets a little bit more comfortable. Uh, last game, it was just blitzing more and more. It started with three, then went to a four and a five-man rush eventually. We'll have to see if the same thing happens here against Ghost. Getting those audibles set up and going the first time he's touched the football. 2.09. Remaining in the first. It's the first time he's going to touch it. And a 7-0 ball game. Both of our competitors are going to be in the West Coast offensive book. Uh, Goes is out here in the Giants defense you'll see on his field when Techers is out there. It's the Ravens. Quite a bit of 3-4 over special to get that four down lineman down. Boy, he sends everybody deep. See if he playmakers be here. He does. He goes right back to him. That's going to be a first down. Too much time in the pocket for somebody like Techers. Took a lot of time off the clock in his semifinal matches just by passing the ball. Just seems comfortable back there. No kind of pressure whatsoever. Let's him read the field. Let's him play maker a couple of receivers, even without that chemistry. And the slower reaction time to the playmaker, because there was no pressure, he's able to complete that pass. I think this is his strategy right here. He's going to try to make the game as short as possible. Then don't break on defense and matriculate down the field. Vic goes up top, though. Forget about that. Oh, it's a drop. Clicks on there. That's one of the few times in Madden you can maybe let the AI make that catch for you. Uh, he felt that there wasn't enough room on the sidelines, so he tried to get a possession catch there, and unfortunately it didn't work out for him. Went to squeeze the ball, and it just popped out of the hands of Moss. That's a bit unlucky, in my opinion. That should have been a grab. You don't see that too often from number 84. If ever. Third and three now. Got to bounce back from that. Hanging his head just a little bit here on third down. Maybe trying to look through the playbook. What Techers is doing here, scrolling through there so much, he is trying to get the stamina back. You notice that yellow dot on the screen that shows that that player just isn't at full stamina. He's got a little bit of fatigue in him. Salary cap is good enough mode where the fatigue and the stamina is lower to where you can go through that. That's going to be a pick. He had B early, but made a bad read. And still on his feet. If Ghost can go up 14 points, Tecker showed us more ball control offense than he did explosive plays last game. This may be time for a huge stop for Techers. First and 10, bunch to the left. And high throw there to Julio. Cleo Mack trying to get it out of there. It's a bad read. See, B open early. And there's no future in that. Yeah, it just waits a little too long. Too many defenders over there. Slight work for goes. Can't do anything too easy there. Might be the final play of the quarter. Goes, and that's an ugly throw. Could have been picked off there by Ronnie Lott. It was a comeback route that was thrown at the top of the route. Yeah, he threw it before that route was able to cut out and make his play. Just a little bit of timing problems there between quarterback and receiver. Fournette standing, scrambling, and ooh, big time hit from Khalil Mack. Young is just fast enough to get away from that Bruce Irvin there, but Bruce made sure he felt his wrath with a great hit stick there. Goes as lucky to hold on to that one. So 7 nothing at the end of one. This is the second time Goes has had possession. This coming off the INT. Nothing like a night game at FedEx Field, I can tell you that. The atmosphere there. Super incredible when you get to There's get a few game. people. They got a few people they put in that, put in the stadium. 
the waiting list for season tickets for the Redskins organization. Still years. About the only team with a higher one uh, that I can think of off the top of my head, the Packers. The L Packers. Yeah, yeah. you gotta, you got to inherit those. Second and four. Cooper Bunch to the left, Rice to the right. Lambeau Field just a, a little smaller than FedEx Field. A little worse conditions throughout some of the year as well. <laughs> I've seen a game up there too, it's phenomenal. And that's a high throw to Jerry Rice. Nice job by Steve Young not going over the line there, sort of straightened out his body and made a, a quick pass for the first down. Yeah, what Goes is trying to do there, he's trying to get as close to the top of that pocket as he can to make that spy act and just come towards the quarterback and just really just give off what he's going to do at all. And that's what he's doing. You can see those two, those two steps to the left of the pocket before he throws it. That makes the spy move over two steps. You'll see it right here. Two steps, spy moves over two, and you make the throw right to the right of him. If Techers is going to win this game, especially in this part of the field, he is going to have to come up with something to stop these curl routes. And there's another high point to Julio. First and goal from the four. And about the only thing I didn't like about that, it looks like he had two curls or pretty close to each other on that side of the field. You almost give the defense a chance to guard two players with only one of theirs. Let's see if he adjusts that or if he goes right back to it. The infamous near, far, you got to look for the inside here. Yeah, 81. You know he's going to probably get, your best bet is can you hold 81 to two yards? And hope that you don't hit him at the one and he just falls in on you. He'll hand it off to the big running back, though. Boy, it looked like he was in. Going to be just shy of the goal line. He goes, look just a little upset after this play. I think once he realizes the clock his friend right now, he'll be okay with it. Right back to the near formation. Now you got to pay attention to 81 and 27. That was the first look we got of an actual halfback run out of this I formation. I think with them pinched down, you got to go back to 27 here. They're both bruisers. As long as Jerry Rice can hold his block, that's where he'll go. That's always the tell for me in that formation. If the line's pinched down, if they keep it wide, I'm, I'm handing it to 81 because I know he can take the nose. To, you know, he can take the guy on the nose. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of those uh, full house formations where you've got a chance to hand off to either those uh, backs in that position or even a toss out of the backfield. And you see the motion there by Julio. Julio catches the crackback block, which doesn't allow that user defender to shoot the gap, and it's a touchdown for Goes. Moss on the return. Almost spun his way out of that. And Techers is in a uh, bit of a hole here. Down 14. Going to try to climb out of it on this drive. This is the second time he's had the football. First time he threw an interception. Trying to throw a corner route into triple coverage. Vic. And Moss along the sideline didn't get that second foot in bounds. Second time he's seen Moss just a half a second too late. Two plays he's had now where he got just a single foot down or got both feet down and would had to drop the ball because it's a little further outside. Just a quick reaction there. Techers would have two huge pickups. This would be the part where we tell you to get Gunslinger. Not just, only does it speed the throwing motion up, it gets the ball there just a little bit faster. Yeah, it gets out of there. And there is Ocho Cinco to the 46. That'll be enough to move the chains. Looks like... You need a touchdown before the half here. It's a must. Got to be a one-score game here at the half. That's how powerful the offense of Goes is right now. Goes is a hard competitor to beat if you have to play from behind. When you're a god of Spall, anything can happen. So much time. He's going to send neither of those spies. Finally sends one. Oh, boy. And the second one almost made the oh play. Boy. Oh, boy. The second one was very close to making a play. It could have been 21 nothing. It could have been 21 nothing. It's almost if he didn't click onto him, he may have made a jump there. He's just getting nothing. He has no check down. Everything is downfield. 
He may, he may benefit from putting one of those uh, delay routes in the backfield, maybe a delay flat, a blue route even out of a uh, Snugs formation perhaps. You don't sleep on that route right there. Ocho Cinco in the red zone. Hey, a little, a little swing route sometimes too can give you, give you a little delay there as the, the halfback sort of flares out before he starts moving upfield. That gives you time to make your decision before you just have to fire it out there. But a first and 10 in the red zone. This is a big 92 seconds here for Techers. Got to get rid of it. Up the seam to Fournette and a touchdown for the Englishman. The exact same route that Go scored with his Fournette. A simple little wheel out of the backfield. Get it to get just inside the hash. Make one man fall over at the goal line. Fournette has got two catches on that route. One for each competitor. 14-7 now. This is the kind of guy that could really be an ambassador for the game in Europe. He's already doing that by just showing up on the scene. There's a reason why a lot of those Madden pockets in the in the country are very popular, like Philadelphia, where it's just all right. They just have a you know they have a history of those guys being really good. Something in the water. Seattle's starting to become one of those places uh, with Kiv and others up there. So. You can never forget about the home team Redskins there. You got Drini, belt winner, Joel, that, all kind of guys. Even going further back, you got people like uh, Money Marcus, who won a couple of Madden challenges back oh, in yeah. that day. Another one of those areas. No question about that. First and ten. And Julio gets stripped. And Techers gets that ball this right back. This is everything. This is everything for that young man on the far side of your screen. Each player with a turnover now. Techers is going to have a minute and some change to tie this game up. First and ten here, just shy of midfield. Even three here is huge. Three points. Got to get them. Got to capitalize. Here comes the heat, and it's a big-time sack. And he ID'd the correct player here. You see, he I, well, ID the blitzing corner from the right side. And then the user strip here. Ugh. Just love to see Techers get the ball back that way. Goes sounding like joke there, going full Mortal Kombat. Come here. Get over here. Little back back B. Second and 22. Let's have three He's timeouts got him beat. He's got him beat. He doesn't see it. Throw it. He threw it too late. Way late, but he's still there. Oh, my. Oh, he had that from the jump. Amari Cooper was flying up that sideline. And I, I think he's thinking he wanted the touchdown. He's trying to hold it as long as he can because he, he wanted to rack that thing in for six. But now you got a third and 22. So promising after the user strip. This is what he needed to get back into the ball game. Got to capitalize, though. Almost caught goes slacking there. Almost got himself There's a another free five yards. Another sack for Khalil Mack. Great timeout by goes there. See him coming off the edge, left tackle. Forget about it. He's going to have to punt it away because it's your classic fourth and 33. Big He's got time room. sky kick. Going to be the return here. And spins to the 40-yard line. About 25 yards out of field goal range here for Goes. Barking out the orders here on first down. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. Does have a timeout in his pocket. So he can't work the middle of the field here. Young picks up the blitz, drops it off, and I think you'll see a timeout. Yes, you do, and it's his last with 20 seconds to go in the half. He knows three here is huge. You'll see at the end of this play here, Techers was trying to catch lightning in a bottle twice here. Wanted another one of those user trip fumbles. He was pretty close to it. 
You can't give up three on this drive if you're Techers. Can't happen. Defense is everything right now. Young trying to extend the play, and he'll throw it out of bounds with 15 ticks left in the half. Good job getting rid of the ball there. Realized he had no timeouts. Nothing opens up quick. Just get rid of the ball. One more chance at third down here. Needs three to move the chains. He's playing against that clock right now. He knows he's got three good plays left. If he can pick up a first down, he's going to have to get out of bounds. Might be able to hurry up and get one more play in if he gets tackled inbounds. Young can't get rid of it. That's what Tecker's needed. And there's no use to hustle back to the line. Goes knows the math. Can't get there. That was a big time sack. Bosa comes through from the line first time today. First time we've heard his name called out, and it's a big time. Just a seven point lead at halftime here, and Techers does get the ball back. Here we go. This is the moment he's been waiting for, and he's got possession once again, just down one score. We've never had a European club champion. That's the obvious thing. Goes trying to repeat, trying to punch his ticket in San Francisco to be a part of the club championship where all 32 teams are competing for a prize pool of 700,000. He wants to repeat what he did last year, winning the whole thing. And he'll be sacked up. Even keeping Shannon Sharp in the block does nothing to curse besides hold him up a little bit longer. You see the tight end there, one-on-one, -on -one, just going to do nothing. Well, he's, he's outmatched there no matter what. And when you bring that outside linebacker, that forces the right tackle to make that adjustment. And there's a nice wheel route. So that'll get a lot of it back. Now makes it third and manageable. Really good job by Tecker's understanding that he had that open a couple possessions ago and didn't throw it that early. This time he does throw it. Picks up a good chunk of yardage there. Bunch to the right. Ocho Cinco solo to the left. He's, he's got him right there for the first down, but he makes a better read. He goes up to the next level, and somehow Amari Cooper's still on his feet at the 35. Huge play. Just one man away there from tying the game. He is locked in right now. Both of these competitors locked in. Makes it a third and six that he ended up getting this first down on. So back to back, huge plays after this big sack. He's had three positive plays in a row, and he's down to 27. Seems like he's got the wheels moving better here than he has the rest of the game. Remember, it was a second and long after that big time sack. And three nice plays in a row that's got him in business. Hey, let's go. See the focus. Both these guys just 21 years old. Goes as one over $65,000 playing Madden. Tecker's trying to add to that in his first live event. It's going to be picked off. And he's got room here. He's got blocks. Michael Vick is going to at least slows him up. Plays that roadblock position there to allow Shannon Sharp to come in and get the tackle. But Second just pick of the game for Sean Taylor for goes. Just an absolute jump there by Sean T. And anyone who watches the Redskins saw that for the first two years of that man's career. Just an absolute playmaker on the field. Steps up, and there's an overthrow as he's hit as he releases it. First time this game where he has attempted to throw one of those curls and did not complete the pass. Set for the red zone. Ghost really doesn't run it. When you're talking about from the 20 to 20, he likes to sling it out of that West Coast playbook. Yeah, you're looking at somebody with an 80 to 20 run to pass ratio here. Now Rice. It's going in the right direction, maybe a gain of four. It's going to bring up a third and six, and a big third and six. You stop him here, I would expect to see a punt. Just because you don't want to give Techers any sort of room to be able to have a one-play strike. 
Young. And that will be the first down from Hurst. Hurst has been his go-to this entire tournament so far. Two touchdowns in his semifinal game and a huge pickup on third and sixth there to keep the ball moving, keep the clock going, and keep him rolling. We got to get some custom hair on Hurst. Still got that creative player. Kind of kind of mullet coming out the back. That's got to gotta do him some justice. Default three. <laughs> First and ten. There are two and a half to go in the third. Young steps up on the wheel, and there's Fournette down to the 35. Boy, he's rolling right now. Second time this game he was able to hit that route to Fournette. The first time it led to a touchdown. This time it's a pickup of over 20 and a first down and goes to looking like he's going to go a little, little clock control offense here. Well, I'll tell you what, Tecker's run a ton of man defense here. And at times you just forget about the running back. You can see it right now. I mean, you got a little bit of man in there mixed with the zone. A little cross man action, but no one's got Fournette. And when you got that hook, I mean, you, you, can, you can take a halfback up the seam all day long. If that's what he wants to give you, that's what he's going to take. Goes has been in this seat a long time. Uh, he hasn't forced anything so far this game except for a single uh, miscue on a uh, overthrow, I believe it was. Other than that, Goes has been, been pretty consistent this game. Second and nine, he's creeping into field goal range. Now he's definitely in it. And that three is everything. I think I heard him say, hold on to that ball. You wonder if Techers is going to realize that this defense he's been in, which he's basically made the same adjustments almost every play against Ghost here. You wonder if he's going to mix it up, maybe try to send pressure from the opposite side that he usually has, or just do something to knock Goes at a field goal range here. Been pretty prolific with the pass. This is a delay to Fournette. And he might be trying to, trying to work this thing into the fourth quarter. Already knows, like, hey, I'm in, I'm in range here to make this a two-score game. I know I got to get the clock in my favor. There's no reason to snap this before 30. If he wants, he can make this the exact the last play of the third quarter. No reason to snap this before that game clock goes below 30. And he will flip it one more time. Young going to the air. Quick throw. There's that wheel route again. And, and I'm telling you, he's so worried about the crossing route from the other side that the wheel is all the way open. Well, what it looked like he tried to do here was bait that little hitch, tried yeah. to hide behind <laughs> a spy to bait the hitch throw. Goes a little too seasoned for that. At some point, he's going to have to get his user out on that wheel. The times that he's done that, though, Goes just takes two steps to the left and throws it back to the right to that little hitch. And it seems like Goes may even be complacent just taking off with Young and picking up two or three yards. He's done it a lot of different ways. It's been a tight contest. Still just a one-score game as we start the fourth quarter. We're five minutes away from finding out who's going to be the Redskins champ. And they hand it off once again to Leonard Fournette. And he rumbles down to the five. Just the fifth rush of the game for Fournette. Goes is very, very pass-heavy in his offense. And when you've got a bunch as good as his, there's no reason not to be. There you see him lining up. Looked like he had a helmet over the top of Fournette there, so maybe time to hand the ball to Hurst. Let's see what movie makes here. Not this time, though. And he will go to 27. I think some of that's ball control. Wants to take care of the football right now. And here comes another 30 seconds off the clock. Worst, best case scenario for Ghost here, of course, is a touchdown. In his mind, worst case scenario would be taking three, going up two possessions, and having about three and a half minutes left in the game. That's the scenario we see right here. Can't get greedy. Doesn't matter if you win by one or 21. And he'll go to the air. Looking to maybe run with Young. And, oh, boy. Just masterful from Goes. 
and he knows how big that is. He could taste the championship. Amari Cooper with a high pass in the back of the end zone off one of those deep route specialist inside posts. 21-7 goes, and he's that much closer to being a two-time champion. But once again, steps, two steps out of the pocket to the right. That makes the spy move. And Amari Cooper with plenty of space in the back of the end zone. We may have a return here. Moss is on his horse. The 40, the 30, 20, 10. We've still got a ball game. That is exactly what the doctor ordered from Techers. Big time kick return. Taking the one, make it a seven point game here. Goes doesn't look like he's even going to attempt to block this one. Well, Goes said that's fine, but that's, that's the meme of the guy sitting, sitting with fire all around him saying, this is fine, I'm good. <laughs> they can look at it again. It's just a big time block here from Sharp and he's gone. Yeah, nothing special there. No jukes, no stutter steps, just a gap right up the middle and he'll take that hole every time. So Goes is going to have it with 3.40 to go. Tecker still has all three timeouts. So goes is not out of the woods yet. 21 to 14. We're 340 away to find out who's going to represent the Washington Redskins out in San Francisco next week. They all get started January 30th in that $700,000 prize pool. Of course, the winner today takes home five grand, and it's a pick. He threw it right to Ed Reed, and he's got a convoy. Gets one block, makes a man miss. He's down to the 26. I told you to buckle up. It's a gonna be a ball game. Overthrow from goes there. User pick from Techers. He got a kick return. He almost had a pick six. He is in a great position right now. All the momentum is on his side. Vic now. Scrambling to the outside. Goes was not worried yards. about yeah. the playmaker there at all. He just ran away from the wide receiver. He knew exactly what Techers wanted there was a scramble. He did not even look at that wide receiver once he seen him leave that pocket. Bunch to the left. 322 to go. There's B on a drag route, but it looks downfield. And that'll haul it in at the 11-yard line. Another catch for Randy Moss. It's been masterful for Goes, but that's the first grab for Randy, for, for Techers. Rolls out and throws it away, and what a great job by Goes sending that spy. Really good defense there. Timed that click in on the right stick just perfectly, so that way he would loop around the edge because Vic had left the pocket. So second and 10 at the 11. There's B open again, and he tries to throw the high pass. An overthrow to Moss there. I'm telling you, that drag route is open. If he can make a grab and make a man miss, he might get six. It's about two or three plays in a row now that he's had that nude underneath. That's Amari Cooper. I mean, Carp Cooper can, he can make plays. He's not going to be there this time. And now you got a decision to make. I, I'm not sure I don't kick the field goal here. I think I do. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I would kick the field goal right here. You kick the field goal, gives you a chance to hold goes to three. You have all three of your timeouts. You then only need a touchdown again. If you don't take your three there and you give up three, it's a two-possession game, and you can kiss your chance at that belt goodbye. Yeah, they can't chase the points yet. Four-point game. Couple turnovers and a big kickoff return has gotten Techers back into it. Goes will start at the 32-yard line. You notice there, as soon as Goes caught that ball, he was on that RB button. He was on that cover-up mechanic. He wanted to make sure he did not see a third, just third absolute momentum swing going against him there. Nice throw on the wheel route and gets down at the 45-yard line. Tecker's actually four months older than Goes. But as far as competitive batting goes at the live MCS level, it's hard to question the resume of Goes, and he's been here time and time again. There's another delay. This time he's got room. He's got a lot of it to the outside. And Adams will tackle him at the 26. 
what looked like it was going to keep Boy, up Jerry the middle. Rice bounce with a pancake. Out. Way to make a miss, too. Should take us to the two minute warning. Now you got to decide when you're going to start using those timeouts. Because Ghost can still pick up two more first downs. You almost need Goes to get down here to the five yard line on this next play. And then you start or the using nine the yard outs. line if yeah. you want you better your chances. It's one of those positions if you give up a flat route and you don't think you're going to hit them in time, just let them pick up the first down anyway. And they'll hand it off. And Mack get carried for four yards on the back of under four. Now they count it with five. And we got a discussion with the admins, and they say it's good to go. And Techers is going to use a timeout here. I wasn't sure if that's the timeout he wanted to use. It looked as if maybe he didn't know which was the quick button to call that timeout, so he went to the pause menu to call the timeout. I'm not sure how they do it across the pond, but it's still the same. It's the timeout. Swings it to the outside. You need a big hit here. Oh, boy. And it's oh, a fumble. Oh, he got hit stick twice on the same play. Tried to get too cute and burn more time off the clock. And when you put your hand on the stove twice, that's usually what happens. Look at it again. Spins away. I mean, loses yards. Then comes back. And Derwin James hits him again. Wow. All right, Techers, this is your moment. 144, two timeouts. He's had some strips, he's had some fumbles, some INTs. He stood up for himself for sure. Vic, time in the pocket, and here comes the sack. He's got to go 91 yards now. He's going to need six. Field position means nothing to him. There's no yard marker you need to get. You need to get past that big white line that says Redskins. Vic standing in there. Amari will get to the 17. Third and 14. They flip the script here. Just over a minute to play. This could be his final two plays of the game. Looks like Goes is on aggressive here. And what a find to Randy Moss. It's a new set of downs out at the 35. Got to get going. Goes only sends three there because he's on aggressive. He wasn't worried, four actually, because he wasn't worried about trying to generate too much actual pressure. He was hoping he'd get some block sheds. And Moss just finds a soft spot there. Cooper solo to the right here on first and 10. We're under 40 seconds to play now. And Cooper's got some room out at midfield. They'll mark him down just shy at the 49. I like the pause timeout technique. I'm a fan. Whatever keeps you he comfortable. He might be playing with either the PlayStation adapter or the Xbox controller for the first time. I've been there, man. It's a mental pretzel. <laughs> when you're on the line and you're not used to it, man. Yeah. Just, just do what you know, and that's that pause menu right there. I'm okay with it. There's another throw. Can he make a man miss? No, what a tackle there by Sean Taylor, the legend. 23 seconds now. You got to hustle up, young man. He's got time for no hot routes at the line, that's for sure. B again. He's going up top for the touchdown. And it can't come down with it. It would have been an interception. The Washington Redskin rookie, Apke, was just one foot away from sealing a back-to-back -back belt for goes. He's Ten still, seconds. He's still got one time out here, so I don't think you got to go for the gusto. You're going to have two plays no matter what. You can still work the middle of the field here. And he'll throw it into coverage, and it's picked off. GG's goes is going to win it.
Ed Reed with the interception, and that is going to make goes your reigning, defending, and undisputed Washington Redskins champion. Gets it done. The best formation in football for goes there. Jared Goff takes a knee, and that was a game for the ages. I got to give a tip of the cap here to Techers, who made the long trip from England and had the defending club champion on the ropes. He had so many t chances to win it, but you got to give some props to goes right there. He got it done. You can see the sportsmanship. The camaraderie, no matter where you live, there is your Madden 19 Washington Redskins club champion goes. This is a very familiar moment as we present you the new 2019 Redskins club champion. Now, we know you felt this victory before, but take us through that last drive. When you fumbled and then had to get that stop, what were you thinking? Uh, I, was, I was just... Initially, I was like, oh, my God, are they going to do it to me? And I was like, nah, let me focus. I need to win this game, put my emotions to the side, and I knew I needed to clutch up. And I called a couple good plays on defense right there. got a pick and got the win. Now, he's our first foreigner who has gotten this far. And what was it like playing him? And is he really as tough as everybody else thinks he is? He's very good. He's very good. He's one of the best I've played this year. Um, he's very solid. He'll be back. I, I wouldn't be shocked if he makes a run in D.C. or the final chance in uh, Ultimate League. Now, last year, you won the Redskins Club Championship, then you got out there and you did your thing and you brought the whole belt home. What's your mind frame like now going into it, trying to repeat? Uh, I know what's at stake. I lost early in Vegas. I need a good showing. I'm gonna take it one game at a time and I'm, I'm gonna try to repeat, but one game at a time for me. All right, well, the last game you played came out for you. Congratulations, I'm gonna let you enjoy this moment. We're gonna send it back up to Scott and Big Grocery with our 2019 Redskins Club Champion. Yeah, 